production of lymphocytes. Lymphocytes are a critical part of the human immune system. There are two types of lymphocytes, T cells and B cells. Around 85% of lymphocytes seen in the blood are T cells, also known as T lymphocytes. T lymphocytes are responsible for cellular immunity. In the embryo, lymphocytes are derived from mesenchymal cells or stem cells present in the wall of the yolk sac and in the liver and spleen. While in adults, the formation of lymphocytes takes place in the stem cells present in the bone marrow. The lymphocytes thus formed enter the blood. Some of them travel in the blood stream to reach the thymus. These cells then differentiate under the influence of thymus and are thus called T lymphocytes. T lymphocytes then re-enter the blood stream to reach the lymphoid tissue in the lymph nodes, spleen, tonsils and intestines. In the lymph nodes, T lymphocytes are found in the diffuse tissue around lymphatic nodules, while in the spleen, T lymphocytes occur in white pulp. From these masses of lymphoid tissues, Many lymphocytes pass into lymph vessels and through them they go back into circulation. In this way, lymphocytes keep on passing from the blood into the lymphoid tissue and back into the blood. Lymphocytes arising from stem cells in the bone marrow do not enter the thymus but instead go to other lymphoid tissues. These lymphocytes are called B lymphocytes or B cells. The B in B lymphocytes stands for bursa or fabricus, a diverticulum of the cloaca in birds. The B lymphocytes in birds are formed here. B lymphocytes are seen in the lymphatic nodules. Lymphatic nodules are dense, spherical bodies of lymphoid tissue found in the lymphoid organs, including the tonsils, spleen and lymph nodes. Like T lymphocytes, B lymphocytes also circulate between lymphoid tissues and blood stream. B lymphocytes produce antibodies. T lymphocytes are responsible for the cellular immune system, whereas B lymphocytes take care of the humoral immune system. Both require antigens to trigger them into action. However, both cells respond differently to antigens. Each T cell recognizes a specific antigen. Hence, we find different T cells in the body for every antigen that it encounters. T cells respond to antigens by producing clones of T cells. When a specific antigen is encountered in the tissues, the T lymphocytes which are programmed to recognize the particular antigen return to the specific domains of the lymphoid tissues. Here, they transform into lymphoblasts. Lymphoblasts then divide mitotically to produce activated There are three major types of activated T cells. Cytotoxic T cells, helper T cells and suppressor T cells. Each of these cells deal with a specific antigen. These activated T cells enter the circulation and migrate to the site of antigenic stimulation.
cytotoxic T-cells, also known as killer T-cells, release lysosomal proteins which directly destroy antigen-containing cells. Such cytotoxic destruction is particularly important in dealing with viruses which are otherwise relatively inaccessible within the host cell. Helper T cells indirectly help stimulate the production of antibodies by B lymphocytes. Helper cells are essential in initiating most immunological responses. These cells exert their influence by a variety of highly specific regulatory factors. Helper T cells also produce a variety of relatively non-specific substances which are collectively called lymphokines. These lymphokines enhance the phagocytic effectiveness of local and blood-borne macrophages. Helper T cells are specifically destroyed by the HIV virus which is responsible for AIDS resulting in a loss of immunity. Suppressor T cells inhibit the activity of certain immunologically activated cells being responsible for immunological tolerance towards certain antigens. A small proportion of activated T lymphocytes remain in lymphoid tissues where they act as memory cells. These cells are capable of mounting a more effective secondary immune system on subsequent exposure to the same antigen again. Thus, the three types of activated T lymphocytes, namely cytotoxic cells, helper cells, and suppressor cells, are responsible for the cellular immune system of the body. Unlike the cellular immune response, which is taken care of by the T lymphocytes, the humoral immune response is controlled by B lymphocytes. Each immune competent B lymphocytes are programmed to recognize one particular antigen only. They are released into general circulation from which they see the lymphoid tissues, especially lymph nodes and spleen. B lymphocytes don't continuously recirculate through the body, but rather make contact with antigens, taken up and processed by macrophages. Once activated, B lymphocytes transform into plasma blasts, which then divide to form antibody-producing cells called plasma cells. A proportion of plasma cells reverts to B lymphocytes and remains in lymphoid tissue as memory cells. The secretion of antibody molecules by plasma cells takes place either within the lymphoid tissue or at the site of antigenic stimulation. In the first case, antibodies are carried to the appropriate site by both the lymph and blood vascular system. The combination of antibody and antigen produces a complex which induces antigen destruction by simple neutralization of the soluble antigen, opsonization or complement activation. Thus, to conclude, lymphocytes are extremely crucial to the human body as they provide it with the immunity in the absence of which we would be easily exposed to various diseases.